Okay, this is uh, an update on my attempt at creating a PCMCIA um, Sound Blaster compatible card. Um, among many challenges, it's the uh, DMA emulation has been been tricky. Um, I'll try to write something a little more detail, but but basically, I got it working, and I've been this whole the whole time I've been working on it, I've been optimizing it for large larger transfers like 2K at a time, um, because I was testing replaying um, wave files and music. Um, then I moved on to start to test with the uh, like protected mode games like Doom and Duke Nukem, and that's when I realized that those the auto in it like the DMA buffers are tiny. They're like uh, 2K or 4K. And they auto in it. They're transferring like, you know, every 256 bytes. Um, so that's an issue for how I'm doing it. So if I just try here, if I just load up Doom, um, yeah, so it works. Uh, it's not going to work correctly. See there, I could tell. Um, I got it. I got out of sync with um, where I was copying from from memory into my buffer was was off from where um, uh, Doom was writing stuff in, into the uh, into the buffer because I'm currently not timing my transfers on the auto init interrupt. Um, I'm doing it on uh, the. I'm doing it based on the, the the FIFO. Um but it's uh, as a proof of concept it, it does work. Um and uh yeah so if I just do a quick little overview of what is here. Um is this uh, focused? So this is um this is just a standard, uh, this is a Sound Blaster DSP. Um, I'm using the, uh, the uh, it's, it's the normal firmware. Um, this is a DIP package, but there's a package that's suitable for um, PCMCA, so that's not, that card, so that's not a problem. Um, over here I've got a small, um, this is a, uh, CPLD that I'm using for I've got various registers and do some address decoding um, and uh, and controlling the uh, FIFO which is just this chip here it's just a 4k FIFO um, and then these are just the uh, uh, latches uh, they're used for the inbox and outbox as I they call it on the DSP um, for the analog side I'm currently using I think I think these are it's called like a Coolvox speech thing clone. I'm just using it as a DDA, um, like I just the eight bit DAC out of this DSP just just feeds to it. Um, and then on my this is my makeshift. This is my own um, PCMCA dev board that I made. So I just have some plugs for my logic analyzer. And uh, this is a, a flash chip that I store the uh, card information structure. This is another. Um, gal that uh, just does some very basic address decoding for you know common mode attribute mode like for reading reading memory um, and then and then this is just out the data and address lines whatever I need on my card um, and uh, and uh, yeah that's that's it and then I have um, my TSR just outputs what's going on to, to over the RS-232 so I can just see on my computer, on my full laptop, um, an idea of what's uh, what's happening uh, for, for debugging purposes. So from here, I think I'm going to actually scrap all of this and start over. I've learned uh, a bunch of stuff uh, along the way. Um, so I'm probably going to do it differently. And I may uh, skip the step of um, a breadboard and just go straight to uh, try to make a PCB that'll work. Um, 
I just gotta I gotta put a little bit of thought into this handling the uh, auto init transfers. Um, yeah, I'll I'll try to uh, make a little text description of this of what's going on, but uh, that's that's it. This is the current state of this project. And, uh, try to try to be more frequent on my updates.